Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine E-Bikes, and thanks so much for watching our videos. So today I'm doing a video on the LCD S830, uh, and the reason I'm doing it is it's actually a very common LCD that comes with a lot of kits, and has a lot of functions and can control all sorts of aspects of your bike. It's in the same family as the SW900, another LCD I use quite extensively. But on this particular LCD, you can have a speed display on the display itself, motor power ratio display, battery level, error indicator, total mileage, single mileage, single running time, light signal, and more. It's really important when you're working with kits, and I'm a big fan of kits because it gives you a lot of control, where some of the built-in um, uh, e-bikes that you can buy out there, which are great, uh, but a lot of those components are built into the frame, very hard to access, so if something goes wrong, you oftentimes have to bring it back to the manufacturer lot and troubleshoot a lot of problems that you may have on the road. So in order to get started, you want to turn on your battery, and then what you're going to do to the um, control on the left-hand side that has two arrows, one up and down, and a middle or M button, hold down the M button for about five seconds, and that'll power on the LCD. To access the actual settings, you want to hold down the up and arrow key at the same time, and that'll bring you into the menu for all the P settings. In order to scroll through your settings, you want to press the M or middle button, and it'll move you through your settings. So P1 is your backlight brightness. Uh, you can set from 1 being the darkest to 3 being the brightest. I always keep it at 3 because particularly out in the sunshine, I really want to be able to see that uh, all the information that's available on my LCD. P2 is uh, the difference between kilometers and mileage. I live here in the U.S., so I pick number one, which is for miles, or you could pick zero for kilometers. P3, P3 is voltage class. It's between 24 volt, 36 volt, and 48 volt. I happen to have a 48 volt kit, so I pick 48 volts. P4 is hibernation time. I always pick zero for never because I, I want to keep it on. Uh, but that's up completely up to you. Then P5, this is uh, your PAS uh, settings. And you can set whether you have five variables or three. I set five, so I picked the one five gear mode ratio. Wheel diameter, this is super important. I have a twenty. I ride only 29ers. Uh, a lot of people have 26 inch, but whatever your wheel size, you definitely want to put that on there because otherwise you're never going to get an accurate readout of your speed or your mileage. Now, P7 is really important. Uh, the magnet steel number for speed test range, and it's set, I believe, uh, by default to 100, but for this particular kit, you want to set it to 47. It's really important, otherwise your kit won't run correctly. So P8 is speed limit, and this is really important. Uh, you can you can control the speed. So in other words, if you have a situation where you you don't want to go over 25 miles an hour, just set it to 25. But if you want to get the maximum speed out of it, there's two settings. It's either going to be set to 50 or 100, and it does vary from bike to bike. So try both and see if you're getting maximum power out of it. Otherwise, feel free to set the power limit to whatever you'd like. P9 is really important. Zero is for zero start. And one is for non-zero start. And zero start is simply that if you throttle, you'll get power right away. Non-zero start relies on the pedal assist. And so you have to start pedaling before the, the power will actually activate from the motor. Then P10 is the drive mode. And um, zero is just power drive alone. One is electric drive. So you're driving the bike by the handlebars. And then two is the combination of the two. Now, because... Two will the, the two setting, the power drive and the electric drive, will not work under zero start mode. It's only for pedal assist. So make sure you pick the right, the right combination there. So here on P12 is where you can set your range for power assist. You can either set it to three, three or five, which gives you a little bit more sensitivity between the settings. P13 is the power magnet steel number. This refers to the number of magnets on your pedal assist magnet, and it's usually 8 or 12, but it should be visible to you so you can count them. Now, depending on your manufacturer or what version of this particular LCD you have, there can be more than 13, 14, 15 settings. Uh, that all really varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. But basically, I've gone through the, the 
the principal list. And um, if you have those additional settings, you can find manuals online pretty easily. Now, one function that I do have to mention because I learned this the hard way, uh, but it is on your uh, LCD, is if you hold down the uh, bottom arrow key for five seconds, it'll go into cruise control, which automatically puts your bike moving at about six kilometers an hour. So I was off my bike last week and standing there and I inadvertently hit the button and my bike started to take off. So I had to wrestle it to the ground. I didn't realize right away that I had done that, uh, but I was able to turn off the battery and get the bike back. We talk to people every week from around the country and certainly feel free to call us with any questions you have. Our telephone number is posted right here uh, and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching.